My name is Ahmed Sia and I am a research scientist at the BC Centre for Aquatic Health Sciences in Cumber River. My name is Shayla Sopropoli Tate and I'm a lab technician at COS. My name is Zina Richmond and I'm a senior lab technician. During high school I came here and started volunteering around the lab. So I was in the wet lab, then I traveled around the world. I went to Quest University and just graduated and found out that they were hiring and yeah, I, I think that it's just really neat work to do in general. These particular samples that we're talking about today will be for aquaculture. And they got hundreds, hundreds of fish to go through, so they need to have these results immediately because they're going to work with them tomorrow. Why we're here in Campbell River is because Campbell River is the salmon capital of the world. And we say that because Campbell River really is the place of the people of the salmon. From Campbell River all of the way up to Port Hardy, Port McNeil and beyond, this is where the salmon have historically been found, this is where they've been abundant, and this is where we want to restore them. We have 14 people, we have three PhD scientists and technicians. Everybody that's in there is certified at one level or another with education. And um, from there we do all sorts of work from the ecological side, which is looking at plankton assemblages in the receiving environment for salmon, all of the way up to new discovery of new diseases, identifying pathogens, and de helping to develop therapeutics and, and mitigative factors. We're third party and nonpartisan. We don't have anybody that's pulling the strings. We want to maintain that we don't take sides in any of the debates around fisheries, salmon farming, or ecology. We are setting up <coughs> virology for testing of two different viruses. Well, in this setup, we have the amplification of the genetic material of viruses or bacteria if they are present in the fish. 